guys, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching this video. Today's video is about math, physics and their significance in aviation. Is it important to know how to calculate? Because everyone uses a calculator when things need to be calculated, right? And do you actually need to understand physics when you're flying an airplane? I received tons of questions about math and physics and it seems that there is still a lot of uncertainty about this subject. So here's a video about it. The short answer is of course yes and yes. It is very important to have a basic understanding of physics and math. You have to know how to calculate quickly, precisely and by heart. Flying an airplane is all about mathematics and physics. Just think about it for a second. How is an airplane able to take off with all that weight? How does lift and drag work? And how do you calculate the top of the descent or the distance an airplane needs to fly in order to maintain a 3 degree glide path angle down to the runway? During the flight training you have to pass 14 theoretical subjects. Some of those require a basic understanding of math and physics because you have to deal with formulas and calculations. Principles of flight, uh, mass and balance, general navigation and flight planning and monitoring are just a few subjects that are all about calculations. If you never had to do something similar, you will have a huge disadvantage during your flight training. Training is really intense and there is simply no time to learn how to do math or physics when you are in it already. Don't get me wrong, you don't need to be incredibly good in order to become a pilot. However, you need to convert and understand different formulas and graphs quickly, so basic understanding of both subjects is really required. Ohm's law, turn radius, law of moments, point of equal time, point of equal turn, the departure formula and the lift formula are just some examples you will face during the training. If you think you're done calculating after the flight training, then you're wrong. Airlines have many different math and physics tests in order to select and assess their people quickly uh, during their assessments. You are often expected to calculate many different mathematical questions in a very limited amount of time with just a piece of paper and pen. There is simply no way you can pass a selection process like this if you haven't practiced beforehand. As an airline pilot, you face specific calculations on a daily basis. Calculating fuel, top of descent, crosswind, tailwind, endurance, time or simply checking the load sheet is all part of the job. Most of these calculations are done uh, by heart since grabbing a calculator is usually not possible or not really efficient. But of course there is hope, as always. If you're watching this thinking, okay, I'm not that kind of person who is able to do that yet, then there's no need to worry at all. Math and physics are very easy to practice. So, are you still in high school? Then you better make sure that you add these courses to your curriculum. And if you're already a little bit older and you left high school like 100 years ago, then uh, you should remember that you are never too old to learn. There are plenty of institutes and websites out there that offer uh, courses for adults. Uh, take Skillshare for example. It is an online learning community with more than 17,000 classes in languages, film production and more. I have recently found out about them and I have been using it since then quite extensively. As some of you might know, I recently moved to Milan in Italy and I'm using Skillshare to learn Italian. Besides that, I've been struggling for ages to create a newsletter and by following some of their uh, courses, I'm very, very close to launching it. Anyway, if you want to brush up on your knowledge or if you have uh, none of the knowledge at all, you can use Skillshare, for example, as they offer plenty of mathematics and physics courses. You can try some of them for free and um, you can also get a premium membership with them and then you can get access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields. So you can really improve your skills by doing so. An annual subscription costs like less than $10 a month and uh, I got in contact with them and by using my code you can use uh, their platform for two months for only 99 cents. Uh, the link is in the description box below. So if you are someone not really good in math and physics, then just get the membership and make sure you ace the uh, uh, mathematics and physics tests. This is some additional information for all my Dutch viewers out here. When you enter the fourth class of high school, you have to choose a study program, right? Well, I chose a long time ago, Nature and Technique with Math B, Wiskunde B. I chose Math B because this math is more orientated on uh, exact sciences. If you are a HAVO student, you need to go for Math B, as Math A is simply not enough. Physics is always required, regardless of the level. So, that's it. The only thing standing in your way right now is the selection process, the medical and the financial aspects. 
You can read more about all these subjects on my website, dutchpilotgirl.com. And uh, so definitely make sure you check that out if you're interested in becoming an airline pilot. Guys, I wish you a great evening and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>